With Shimano's new 12-speed group sets becoming more common to see and the fact they use wireless shifting, I thought it was a good idea to make a video on how to check and replace the battery in those wireless shifters. Let's do it. Checking the battery on the shifters is super simple. You just need to press both of the shift buttons simultaneously for a couple of seconds and the LED will illuminate on the front of your shifter. If it's green, it means you've got between 100 and 11% of battery left. If it's red, it means you've got 10 and 1% battery left. And if it doesn't light up at all, well, you've got no battery left whatsoever. And you need to check both the left and right hand levers individually because they both have a battery in them. Shimano suggests these batteries should last between one and a half to two years under normal riding conditions. So with that said, and a little bit of simple maths and some estimating, you can guess that as the LED turns red, meaning you've got 10% battery life left, you should have between one to two months worth of battery left in your shifters. However, as the LED turns red, if it was me, I'd just look to replace that battery as soon as possible anyway. The batteries inside the shifters are a CR1632. Now, these can be purchased online for a couple of pounds, euros or dollars. Best thing to do here when choosing your battery is to buy one from a reputable brand. That way, it should last as long as possible. For this job, you're only going to need one tool, a small Phillips screwdriver. It's called a Phillips after Henry J. Phillips, who's responsible for bringing this cross-head shaped design to fruition. Although, you don't need to know that. So first step to this job, what you need to do is remove this rubber hood cover. No need to use any tools here, otherwise you run the risk of damaging it. So simply peel it back carefully and then remove it out of the way so that we've got access to the inside of the lever body. Once that's out of the way, you can remove this small screw here. Now it is small and be careful because as you undo it, it's quite easy to lose it. So don't say, I didn't warn you. Carefully undo this and then set that to the side on your workbench. Now that that's secure, we can then take the small little door flap on the lever body and open that out of the way to reveal where the battery sits. Then we can just remove the battery, discard that, and get our new one out of the packet ready to refit, straight in the bin. As you remove the battery from its packaging, you're gonna want some gloves. Now, I was always told to wear gloves when handling coin cell batteries so that you don't run the risk of draining any of that power out. Whether or not that's true or not, I've got literally no idea, but why take the risk, eh? So what we're gonna do is then take our new battery and then place that in to the door of the lever body housing. Shimano recommend this rather than installing it straight back in to the lever body. Then we can gently close that battery door, making sure that everything is in place and it seats up correctly. There should be no need to apply any excessive force here. It should all go together nice and easily. Then taking our small screw, which is nice and safe on the workbench, can reinstall that back into place. Now Shimano recommend that you do this up to a torque setting of 0.4 newton meters. But let's face it, most people are not gonna do this, mostly because they don't have a torque wrench capable of even measuring 0.4 newton meters. So best thing to do is to take into account that it's a particularly small screw and just do it up nice and gently. With that in place, we can check that it's all sat flush and then move on to refitting the lever hood back over the body, making sure it all sits flush as well. Right, with that back in place, all we're gonna to need to do is a final check. So double press both of the shift buttons again. LED illuminates green, happy days. That means you should be good for another one and a half to two years of trouble-free riding. Hope you enjoyed this maintenance video. And if you found it helpful, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments section down below what you think of wireless shifting and whether it's your cup of tea or not. And you know what else you should do? Click on that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to make sure you don't miss out on any future videos. See you later.